Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to fly a GPS-based mission on your quadrocopter. First thing you need to do is hook up a switch on your radio to channel 5. Notice when I flip the switch I get a signal. I obviously also have to have a GPS unit. I highly recommend this one from 3DR. And a wireless te telemetry kit is handy in order to record what the quadrocopter is doing during the flight. All right. Then there's some parameters that you can configure also to do with the minimum speed so it does a good landing. And let's crank that up to one meter per second and write that. Also, uh, it's very important to have channel seven set up if you can do return to launch because if something goes wrong and the quadrocopter takes off in the wrong direction uh, and you lose it, this will be a great way to bring your quadrocopter back home. All right. Let's go to the flight planner, and we can see that I have a home location set already. This is a little pop-up here that shows you the waypoints in your mission. You can zoom in here, and let's move the home location out here on the driveway, nice and safe. And let's do a, a very small mission for our first run, and try and avoid any obstacles, and keep it nice and safe. One, two, and let's put one more waypoint here. The waypoint radius, those white circles, determines how accurate your quad will fly. And if you make it too small, the quad could take a while trying to find that location. So five meters is nice and forgiving. This is the default altitude, 40 meters. That might be a bit high. Let's bring it down to 20. Now it's actually going to, for waypoint one, it'll ramp up to 20 meters from the start location. So I need to make sure there's no obstacles in the way there. Looks good. And one more thing, after the last waypoint, we also want it to land. All right, write that to the quad. And now we're ready to go. So here we are, ready to take off. I'm going to take off manually. And you need to get the quadrocopter up to a neutral um, location, so it's where it's just hovering, and then flip the switch. And off it goes. OK, let's look at that again from the quad's point of view. I have a GoPro Hero 3 camera mounted on the quad here. Right there is where the auto mode took over. It's flying out to waypoint 1. OK, it's there. Off to waypoint 2. Again, very good. It's at full height now, so it's going back to home. And you can see it coming back down, doing the landing. Right here I take over the landing, because uh, I can do a better job myself. Now if you have the 3DR radio set up, you'll also have some telemetry logs. So if you go back to here you can load those logs and you can see the one that I just flew. I think the flight is around here somewhere because I already looked at it. And if you zoom in, you can see it flying the mission. This is actually what you'll see on your computer in real time if you have the 3DR radio set up. Did a nice tight corner there. And you can also look at the instruments, uh, because all of that's captured in the logs, which is very handy. And that's it. That's flying a mission.